bidding on multivitamins again, are we? <laughs> well, you know me and those omega-3s. <laughs> well, as our soon-to-be co-deputy head, I'd appreciate it if you could give me 15 minutes and show the newest member of our faculty around the school. Uh, Olivia will be taking over Sienna's role as English teacher. Oh, well, congratulations, Olivia. But the tour will have to wait. I'm in the middle of something. <laughs> Actually, since you're online, let's see if we can get Olivia logged into the school internet. Oh, Sally, I just don't have the time. Oh, come on, let the girl see the new home page. I'm busy, all right. Sorry, <clears throat> I'm just trying to book a doctor's appointment. It's nothing serious. Enjoy the tour, Olivia. If it's a supplement you're after, I hear Rhodiola Rosea works wonders for stress. Mm. What are you doing? Setting up another CrossFit sesh, why? After you steamed in like David Goggins yesterday and ruined it for everyone, you're having a laugh. <sighs> I'm going training, Sid. Are you coming or not? No. Fine. Bottle it then. Just like your mates did. Oh, and you know with that attitude, you can forget any endurance events. It's a pipe dream. What has got into you? Me? You're the one freaking out. You're the one that's acting weird. It's like something's happened while you're away. Oh, you are way off. I know you're hiding something. Can you just tell me? I've been made redundant. Yeah, that's what's happened. James, look, I need a favour. Right, can you take a look at these housing contracts and tell me if there's anything suspicious? Huh. Juliet, Sammy, and now you. Why am I everyone's go-to barrister for underhand business? James, please. My online yoga class is about to begin. Look, if you don't help me, my dad's going to hurt someone. I mean, really hurt someone. Don't think this is a freebie. Well, see anything? Dodgy, corrupt? Helmslow Rigby solicitors. Biggest crooks in Chester. Even their secretary holidays in the Maldives. James, this is serious. I really need you to find something. Well, I'm going to be disappointed. Everything seems legit. Now, if you don't mind, I need to practice my cobra pose. <clears throat> Wait. What is it? James, have you found something? Hey, James, tell me. You wanted a smoking gun. I may have found a nuclear bomb. Sorry I couldn't give you a more comprehensive tour. It's easier when the inmates are in the playground. <laughs> it's OK, really. I know you're busy. <sighs> Is there anything else? Nancy, are you OK? You seem a bit off-key. Well, I do have a lot on, and uh, quite frankly, I've just wasted my morning giving you a tour of the canteen, so now I have even less time than I was expecting. Excuse me. The thousand yard stair. What is this? Barry and Juliet were stalked by that little creep, Timmy. He hid cameras in the Lomaxes and broadcast intimate footage of them online. That logo matches the one on these contracts. I'm starting to get a very bad feeling that there's more to these property deals than meets the eye. You don't think that... that there's more spy cameras hidden in these properties? Yes, I do. We need to go to the police. Right now. Oh, hang on. Where was the camera hidden in the Lomaxes? Carbon monoxide alarm, why? Because a couple of stupid reindeer logos aren't going to be enough to bring Fergus down. It's a stag, isn't it? Oh, we need proof. That if there's more hidden cameras in the village... We have to find them. Then we go to the police. There's uh, 62 pounds and 25 pence. My uh, top drawer's been gathering some loose change for a while, so I thought I'd just take it to the cash converter and cash it in for you. Said. I'm not taking your money, but thank you. So, uh, this redundancy happened. 
Well, we knew cops were coming. I've been working there for ten years now, and I know that for a second thought I'd be let go. I wouldn't have bought the house back if I did. Gonna have to move. I gotta pay out. I'll tide us over. We've still got a mortgage to keep up. I need to get a job. I'm fast. Yeah, well, you should have said something to someone. Don't say anything to anyone. Not yet, Sid. Everyone has been through so much. That's why I leapt at the chance to help you. Needed a bit of a distraction. I said I just wanted to feel useful, not completely useless. Useless? You are the most important person in the world to me. After you lost your mum and dad, and your Tegan, your Raised the whole family by yourself. You stood up to Johnny for me. You stood up to my dad. You helped me come to terms with Jordan. And then okay, you... you can stop now. You're an inspiration. Yeah, being made redundant sucks. You'll bounce back. And you, you're going to get back running. Yeah? Face any challenge that comes in front of you. You hear me? Yeah. We'll do it together. You know, technically, this is breaking and entering. It's not when Maxine gave you a spare key, it's not. Which, by the way, I really could have done with you yesterday. She gave me that key out of neighbourly spirit, not so that local deacon could go snooping through a knicker drawer. Look, I was getting evidence on Fergus. Did you find any? Proper evidence. I need to get a hold of my dad. Dad. I know what Bluebird is and I'm going to the police. <laughs> Fergus has cameras hidden all over the village and he's broadcasting the footage of the girls online. Oh, Joel, oh, just, just slow down. What are you talking about? Fergus's property business is just a front for a CD online website he owns. He's streaming the footage online. Please tell me that this is a joke. Oh, I wish I was. Dad, I found a camera in Maxine's bedroom. It was in the carbon monoxide alarm. Same as the low Max's. Dad. Dad. Hey. Felix said that I needed to see you, so here I am. Nancy, there's someone here to see you. I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry to come by just like this. I was on my break and I saw you come home. You followed me. I just wanted to apologise for earlier. I shouldn't have butted my nose in where I wasn't wanted. No, you shouldn't have. And you're right, I am expecting. But it's very early days and I don't want anyone at work to know yet. So not Sally, not even John Paul. Is that understood? I should go. Oh. Olivia, it's not your fault. This pregnancy is rather out of the blue, and it's the worst possible timing. Oh, I feel terrible even thinking that I miscarried last year. Get her in that van and get me my money, or you will regret it. Do you hear me? You are a dead man. What an entrance. You've been using our business as a front for a CD website. You should get that. Might be important. I know what Bluebird is. You've got cameras all over the village. I'm Maxine! You're a sickle. Betrayal hurts, doesn't it, Warren? I know Felix is alive. For everything I've done for you, that's how you repay me. Teaming up with that grass. Felix said I needed to see you, and then you just stomp off like a lunatic. I mean, who do you think you are, Warren? Joel has got evidence on you. He's on his way to the old bill. You are finished, old man. You killed Brody. Buried Timmy. If anybody's going to go to jail, it's going to be you. <laughs> well, 
it sounds like I've got nothing left to lose. What if I tell you that Maxine is in danger? Yeah, that's right. I've got a buyer taking her away to be trafficked any second now. You're the one at second. I thought that we could work things out, but you know what? I was wrong. <laughs> Drop it. Yeah. And I'm Kaiser Soze. <laughs> one of my subscribers took a real shine to her. We will never work things out. We're just better off apart. So I figured, why not cash her in? She's funding my little getaway to Mexico. You're lying. Am I? Call off Joe. Or I promise, you will never see Maxine again. And oh, Sally has been so supportive of me. I mean, she's the one that encouraged me to go for the deputy head role. And what, now I'm going to tell her that I may be taking Matt leave? Uh, me? I want to have this baby. At least I think I do. Darren, it's my partner. When he found out I was pregnant, he did a runner. And I haven't heard from him since Monday. I've never felt so alone, and I haven't got a clue what I'm going to do about this baby.